Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the African Diaspora News channel. My name is Richard Sudan. We appreciate you being here. Uh, before we begin the broadcast, please like and subscribe, support the channel, and sign up to the website. More needed now, more than ever. Now, a quick story I wanted to bring to you today, which I had to read the headlines a couple of times. I couldn't really believe it. I was quite surprised. Keith Ellison, the Attorney General for the state of Minnesota, has come out with some comments regarding the uh, forthcoming imminent sentencing of Derek Chauvin, who murdered George Floyd in 2020 last year. Now, apparently, uh, Keith Ellison has given an interview on the massive platform of 60 Minutes, and Keith Ellison has basically expressed uh, compassion, alluded to compassion uh, regarding Derek Chauvin, and he said he hopes the judge won't go either too light or too heavy. He's acknowledged the humanity, quote unquote, of Derek Chauvin. Um, and he said he felt bad for the defendant. He said he felt bad for Derek Chauvin. Now, of course, he's also said that he was satisfied uh, with the verdict, uh, the, the guilty verdict of the murder of George Floyd. But regardless, for the Attorney General of Minnesota to express sympathy, to sort of acknowledge the humanity, um, to say he doesn't want the judge to go too light or too heavy on such a massive platform, um, you know, when we're literally hours away from the sentencing of Derek Chauvin, I think is significant. Um, Keith Ellison, of course, didn't have to say anything. And I suppose it begs the question, why? Uh, why come out with this statement? Now, you know, a lot of people think, um, or a lot of people are asking the question, is the groundwork, uh, the groundwork being laid for a light uh, sentencing of Derek Chauvin? Now, on the one hand of the scale, he could get several decades in prison. On the other end of the scale, a lot of people are concerned or worried, are predicting that maybe it's going to be a light sentencing. Um, of course, the sentencing is due to take place on a Saturday, which is interesting. Um, a lot of people, again, are, are saying this might be a reason. Uh, Saturday is an odd day for the sentencing to take place. Might this be um, a reason? Might this be a preparation uh, for Derek Chauvin to be, um, you know, to, to, to receive a lighter sentence? This is what a lot of people are saying. And this uh, statement by um, Ellison is significant. Now, my personal view, my personal view is that Derek Chauvin needs to be shown in this sentencing as much compassion as he showed George Floyd. Um, this, uh, the message of this um, result, this sentencing, is going to send a message to the world. The entire world is going to be watching the result and the outcome of this. But of course, this is going to send a message to uh, the police, to white supremacists, to those that might abuse power, um, as well as all the people that want justice for uh, the family of George Floyd and for George Floyd. Um, you know, of course, the guilty murder verdict didn't represent justice in its totality. It was a potential step towards justice and maybe the start of accountability. Um, but for someone uh, like Keith Ellison in, you know, such a uh, position to come out with a statement like this and the timing of it is incredible. Um, you know, the uh, murder of George Floyd um, sparked massive protests around the world, not just in the US, but here in London, you know, tens of thousands, if not more uh, people came out. And it really wasn't about George Floyd, uh, just George Floyd. This was about uh, systemic ongoing systemic racism and anti-black racism and anti-black policing in the US. And George Floyd was very much the straw uh, that broke uh, the camel's back. Uh, but, you know, and of course, everybody saw uh, the horrendous murder of George Floyd. And, you know, it's almost like the uh, the wave of uh, impact that that caused has almost been forgotten. You know, uh, Keith Ellison to say he felt bad for the defendant. And this wasn't really, this isn't some sort of um, a case where, you know, it's like, yeah, I was happy with the result, but I also had some feelings of sympathy for the defendant. This was a sort of landmark case this is not really a neutral statement and especially from someone as prominent as Keith Ellison um, a lot of people have been speculating on uh, why uh, Keith Ellison would say this a lot of people have um, pointed to his own uh, political ambitions and the affiliations 
and the relationships he might be trying to uh, shore up. But this is a, a, an incredibly, in my view, um, damaging statement and a really alarming one. Um, of course, there was about eight or nine weeks um, between the verdict, the, the, the murder, guilty verdict, and of course the sentencing. And, you know, I think, uh, of course, if, if Derek Chauvin receives anything less than what many people think he should, you know, there's going to be a massive backlash, a massive, uh, massive uh, response uh, from the public. Um, and I'll say again, my view is that Derek Chauvin deserves as much compassion as he showed, uh, you know, George Floyd in this whole situation. You know, this is going to send a very, very significant a message you know the entire world is watching um the outcome of this case a lot of people were sort of talking you know is this going to set some sort of legal precedent you know is this going to make be um present some massive landmark significant turning point in the united states but for me unless a very strong message is sent out because ultimately police who go out intentionally uh, with the intention of killing black people hurting black people and then those police that get away with it because the system is stacked against black people, the system of injustice is rigged how it is. Unless Derek Chauvin gets um, the right sentence, then that's the answer to that question. You know, the only way, the only way this uh, situation is going to stop, in my view, is if police officers like Chauvin are punished appropriately as they should be when they carry out acts like this. That's the only way this is going to work. All this talk about the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act, which seems to have just stalled anyway, even if implemented. You're not going to undo a uh, brutal culture of anti-black racism embedded right within the heart of the police force um, with just more laws and more rules, which should be followed anyway. Police already know what the right or wrong thing to do is in any situation they've been trained in this regard they choose to abuse their power the racist wants to hurt maim and kill black people and they know full well um you know what what they're doing so this idea that rules more regulations on a state level even at a federal level is going to change it in my view will not detract from the fact that the fundamental way to um stop these people like chauvin doing what they're doing is hit them in their pockets take away their money and punish them and give them, you know, proper um, sentences for the crimes they're uh, carrying out. You know, in my view, Derek Chauvin needs to be almost made an example of. He needs to get a very strong sentence, and that will be a deterrent to um, police officers that are going to carry out these acts and white supremacist, racist police officers. If you want to send a message to them, um, give Chauvin uh, the appropriate uh, sentence. That's the only way um, that this problem is really going to be. Uh, dealt with this problem is long-standing it's been there for hundreds of years decade after decade um, and I think it will make a mockery of the entire uh, system it will be an indictment of the system of racism as we all know it to be um, but again you know it's a powerful statement Keith Ellison the Attorney General of Minnesota saying he feels some level of compassion and sympathy uh, for Derek Chauvin he views the humanity um, of Derek Chauvin as something to be acknowledged when you only have to look at the video of Derek Chauvin and how he killed and murdered George Floyd and you can see the regard uh, that Derek Chauvin had for uh, the humanity of George Floyd he had none um, whatever anyone says he knew he was killing George Floyd George Floyd cried out he said you're killing me it was obvious what the situation was and Derek Chauvin was operating within a culture which allows this thing to happen again and again uh, he proceeded to kill George Floyd because he was comfortable, um, very comfortable and safe in the knowledge that he was uh, going to get away with this. So let's see what happens. The sentencing is upon us. Um, many people are speculating and, and arguing online now that the groundwork is being laid for a very light sentence. Um, you know. Let's see what happens, but make no mistake about it, as we can all see, 60 Minutes was a very big platform to make such a statement. Um, so let's see what happens. Just wanted to uh, chop it up for today and bring this story to the channel. Thank you for supporting the African Diaspora News Channel. Uh, subscribe to the website, uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit the like button, hit the share button. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you next time.
friends and family, I would like you to check out blackcommunityspeak.com. Now, blackcommunityspeak.com is a forum based website. So, something that's very simple where you can get on, you can get off, you know, get involved with a lot of topics. Now, Black Community Speaks is a place that's for black men and women to talk about issues that's affecting the entire community. So, on blackcommunityspeak.com, they talk about topics in the range of news, uh, what's going on in society, relationships, technology, business, food and recipes, gaming, health and fitness, you know, music and many many more um on black community speak it's a place where you can be safe to say what you want to say without the fear of big tech censorship so make sure you head on over to blackcommunityspeak.com and sign up today hello everyone please make sure you subscribe to the african diaspora news channel app on these platforms